I recently got a couple of these rechargeable dehumidifier blocks. Now, these aren't suitable for doing a whole room or anything like that. They're designed for enclosed uh, boxes or, or spaces because they can only absorb a certain amount of moisture. And they basically work, they're full of silica gel and they've got a heating element and you plug them into the mains and they heat the gel and drive the moisture out and that's how you recharge them. Uh, they've got coloured, um, the, the colour change silica gel uh, visible through this little window so you can see when it needs recharged. And when it's damp it goes a pink colour and when it's dry it goes a blue colour. So I decided to open this to see how the heating arrangement worked. And I didn't realise that all the silica gel was loose inside it. And when I opened it, let's see if I can get this open now. Oh, there we go. It just went everywhere. Seriously, it's not in here at the moment. But all this just poured everywhere. And it's round um, nodules and they just bounced off the table. They just poured off like a waterfall. And I spent quite a lot of time crawling about my hands and knees in the carpet trying to pick it all up again. So um, if you open one of these, make sure you do it over a bowl. For reference, uh, the, the unit has screws hidden under the label with the colour change section. Now, talking about the colour change sections, there's one on our side and they have a tiny little plastic capsule with just a few of the colour change beads. The majority of the beads in the unit are just standard non-colour changing. And they've got these little sort of vials, but you know what? I don't see much space for air to get in to actually make them change colour. Oh yeah, actually, the, where they clip in, there's a a gap at the side, it's not fully enclosed, so there is a bit of uh, air space for them to actually, for the air to get in. They're quite really tightly clipped in. Um, but they've done that uh, just purely as a cost saving measure, the, the small quantity of the colour change stuff, because it is more expensive uh, to impregnate the, the silica gel with that particular chemical. The heater inside is basically, uh, the main supply goes to these two PTC thermistor elements. These are self-regulating heater elements um, and they're just wired in parallel across the main supply and strapped onto, well clamped onto with these little aluminium springy plates onto a heat spreader plate. So the whole inside of this is absolutely full of the silica gel and when you plug it in it uh, just heats it up and that drives the moisture out. When I plug these in they drew initially on a power meter, they showed over 100 watts, but that rapidly came down to about 20 watts as the plate heated up to its equilibrium state for the temperature. So uh, other than that, there's not really a lot more to them. It's just the heater plate that drives the moisture out for recharging them. And then just a, the void inside for the, uh, the silica gel with that sort of breathable Tyvek-y type fabric just heats it's kind of, there's little dimples here where they've just um, used a hot um, solder iron or something, I guess, or some sort of, they've basically just dabbed it on and melted it onto the, the surface to stop uh, the smaller uh, bits of silica gel dropping out. So these aren't that expensive, um, and you certainly get a large quantity of silica gel. Now, I did weigh it before I, when, when you get it, you're supposed to... Um, put it on recharge to heat them up and drive the moisture out. And I did weigh it beforehand, and the weight out the box, which isn't necessarily in its fully moisture-laden condition, was 615 grams. When I'd heated it for quite some considerable time, it went down to 593 grams. And that equates to about 22 grams, which is the equivalent to 22 millilitres of water, which means it would have actually filled this shot glass with the amount of water that was evaporated out of it by the heaters. So it's, it's a modest amount. I'd like to weigh it um, and see what it, it weighs fully laden because I'm sure it could probably have absorbed more moisture before I recharged it. But it's quite impressive that it can actually store in the crystals it can store this amount of moisture and um, of course once you've heated it and it, you've driven the moisture out um, it's ready for use again for repeatedly for, I should guess, for 
quite a long time. There's nothing really, silica gel is, uh, can be recharged quite a lot, uh, quite easily, quite a lot of times. Um, so I'm not sure how long this would last overall, if, if you kept recharging. But it, it looks pretty good. I'm going to put one of these in the car, which is prone to uh, condensation issues in the window, just to keep uh, the moisture uh, at bay inside it, because it's a nice convenient solution, uh, rather than bringing in bags and microwaving them or putting them in the oven to dry them out. Now, the main, when this is assembled, they basically, um, I'll just put that over there, I think that goes roughly there. They basically put the two halves together, like this. They clip together. Then they push the connector in so it clicks in. Then they must put a funnel in and fill it with the silicon, uh, the silica gel beads. And once it's full, then this plastic cap gets clicked in. Oop. So if you're ever uh, emptying these, it's probably a good idea, as I say, to put it over a basin if you ever had a reason to open one of these because it does spill out everywhere since that. I, I kind of thought it was going to be in packets inside, but I was wrong. It, it went everywhere. But there you go. They're, they're quite interesting. They're simple. They're not that expensive. And they do contain a good quantity of the gel. So they're quite interesting.